Hi, and welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris, and I'm gonna to talk to you about another Blu-ray, or another set of Blu-ray films, and this release today is the early, and I'm gonna butcher this, Hao Xiao Xian films. A series of three films that are part of the Eureka Masters of Cinema collection, spanning numbers 188 to 190. And they tell the, the story of, or they display, the first, the third, and the fourth films of Xiao Shen's filmography. But these three films tell their own story, but a story within them. And that is really how somebody that became known as a great director evolved. Can you see what he would evolve into? And it was especially interesting for me because I have not seen his later movies. I was starting afresh. So given that I didn't really know what he was going towards, could I still see where, you know, would, would, it, would it help? Would it make sense? Would I enjoy the films in their own right? So the first film that came along uh, uh, that's in the set is a film called Cute Girl, also known as Lovable You. And it's a pretty standard rom-com. It stars and it was cast two pop stars in the main role, I think maybe to give it some more marketability, give it some more cred. And the film is sort of a musical in that there's songs that go along with it and the characters sing along while they're going along. Now it's not overt, you know, in the way that like a West Side Story or a classic musical is, but there is this element of, are they singing along with the background music? Is, is that something that's okay? That's what's happening here. Um, and it also sets up a couple of things that will run through a lot of these movies that will go. And the, the main one of that is that there's always a contrast in each of these movies between city life and country life or rural and urban. And as both characters live in the city but they meet when they are on holiday to the country. The female character, she goes to visit her aunt. Um, as she awaits to be set up in what would be a sort of arranged marriage for herself. And the male in the character, played by Kenny B, um, he goes out to do a surveying job as they look to build a road through the middle of this little village that's on the outside and people rebel against that. Now, that's one theme, and one of the other themes is sort of infantile or juvenile humour. There's a lot of it in this in this movie, there's a lot of fart jokes or diarrhea jokes, that kind of stuff. It's not played too much, but it's definitely something that's present throughout each of these films. And, you know, it's moderately funny. Uh, I'm not really much of a slapsticky kind of humorous person, but, it, you know, it did raise the odd laugh. And it and actually makes the film very enjoyable to watch. It's being a standard rom-com, I don't think you expect too much. It has some little twists, etc. with inside it that play with the genre a little bit, but... In, in, Whereas it's just it's just what you'd expect it to be in, and that's a very pleasant watch. And I'd say when I watched it at the time, I thought I quite like that. I would watch that again. There's something in that. The little tunes get stuck in your head, and away you go. The next film in the set is the Green Green Grass of Home, which is not to do with a Tom Jones song, as far as I can tell, uh, but it tells the story in reverse. It's set in a school that's in. Uh, rural part of Taiwan and a teacher comes from the city to go teach there and it just so happens to be that it's Kenny B again from the first movie is the same character and he plays this this character that comes out and takes this group of school kids and well, when it's got that contrast between city and rural life it also ha introduces a theme of a little gang of, of young boys who in the film are called the Three Musketeers they're kind of they're not bad kids they're not no they're just playful they're they're just making amusement for themselves within this set and they get up the hijinks i suppose is, is the way that you put it and a lot of the story is kind of told through their eyes where they run and see and what happens and this film is a bit of a mess for me it kind of can't make its mind up about what kind of movie it wants to be it doesn't know whether it wants to be about a relationship between the young new, new young teacher and, and another teacher in the school or whether it wants to be about environmental issues. It doesn't tell, decide whether it wants to be about how these three young boys are growing up. There's even a subplot where uh, they look after an owl. It has all of these things, and it's probably supposed to be one of those slice of life uh, dramas. It still has that light side with a bit of infantile humor, etc. 
but it ju it's just too much. It kind of veers, shifts from one way to the next, and you kind of have this uneasy feeling of, oh, the film's going that way. No, it's not. It's, it's doing this other thing, and to me, it's a bit of a, a bit of a mess. In that regard, it has some great moments of filmmaking, though, and I think you start to see some of the seeds of what he would then become. Which there's a scene where there's one of the young characters whose mother has moved away and left them from an early age, and they're just left with the father. Uh, and they try and ca contact the mother by sending her a message by a little handcrafted boat and putting a note inside. And you watch it sail up the river, and it's very beautiful where it goes, and then it pulls back as they follow along and there's a beautiful sunset that goes there and it's a very very beautiful moment and it kind of stands out a little bit from the rest of the film it's 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 one of those bits where you make stop and take notice and go oh this film has that as well as all this other like confusion of of of, of types of story and themes and then the last film is the boys of fenque fenque who knows how that's even pronounced and honestly I thought I was watching a movie by a completely different filmmaker. This film is night and day different from the two that went before, even though chronologically there's not a great deal of difference between them. It tells the story of three boys, well it starts off as four, but three boys who live in the country and are they are unruly and in some ways they're bad, they're a bit of a menace. And uh, so I think I spent was the first half an hour of the movie just going, I don't like these characters. I all i don't want to watch a two-hour movie about characters like this but they decide to leave their families and their friends to sneak out and they go and they move to the nearest urban center to go and find fame and fortune and work and all that kind of stuff they want to make money and they kind of go with nothing all they know is they have a sister there who can maybe put them up or otherwise this film's burning um once I got through the first 30 or 45 minutes and the characters started to change and evolve and you started to really understand some of these characters and the motivations. There's some flashback scenes. There are some um, very picturesque moments. In fact, the shooting style is very, very different. There are lots of like picture frame moments. So the camera is set up and, and the action happens in that frame and then it pulls back a further bit and it shot, shoots the same thing but with a bit more information about who else is in the scene and who's involved it's it's fabulous it's fabulous camera work and fabulous filmmaking and really easy to watch and it ends really the more that the film goes along the more that you're drawn into all right these are just normal boys these are just normal boys in a new setting and they find out about themselves and how they're going to end up they are married by the prospect of being called up for national service, but they're also trying to make a future in their life for themselves. They're, they're finding themselves in relationships or caught in situations where they wouldn't have been in a rural setting. And like I say, I, I, I can't speak highly enough about how much I wa enjoyed watching that movie and, and how my opinion of some of the characters either stayed the same or changed or, or otherwise. A, a really wonderful movie and a really, really great set. Uh, I spent the weekend watching these and I thought, yeah, that was a worthwhile time spent. The other thing that there is on, on, on this, uh, for each movie, and there is a video essay. And the video essays go into depth about some of the things that both in that movie and carry forward. And they're really nice companion pieces to the films themselves. I watched the three movies and then watched the three uh, video essays. And actually, it was nice to see some of my own thoughts mirrored and, and, and what I spot. I always think that's a very gratifying part of watching films is you try and see what you can get out of the films yourself and then it's nice to both learn new information or think about things in a different way but also have some of those things that you thought yourself borne out to be true so great set really recommend picking it up and the and the other film the daughter of the nile i can't wait to watch because if the, that last film is an example of the kind of movies that he would go on to then make I can't wait and Taiwanese cinema in general from being something that maybe five years ago I would have considered to be a hotbed of cinema all of a sudden between this between the wonderful Edward Yang films that are there you kind of start to think god what else is there from this region it makes one of the, the real delights of watching films and, and, and using curation of labels like Masters of Cinema to your advantage because I can't I Google to see how I can get to see more films of Shao Shen all ever since the weekend.
So, thanks very much for watching. If you've seen any of the movies or if you've seen any of the other the Coming of Age trilogy, except for that I haven't seen, let me know down below if they're if they stand up to, to the length of some of this work. I know a lot of people think the, these three films aren't aren't great examples of his work, even they, they get better, so to speak. But they get better. That can only be uh, that can only be a positive. All right, take care. Speak to you soon. All the best. Bye.